Are their parents in? Yeah. 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 Uh, it's a weird thing, isn't it? Having to be somebody's co-parent and their lover. Having the, the person that you're co-parents with and the person that is your lover be the same person. It's a weird sort of thing to marry together, I think. And that's no more true for me. I know other parents in the room may have experienced this, the phenomena of going down on your partner in the same room as a baby monitor. It can take you out of it slightly, do you know what I mean? I, I'm a, a very big fan of oral sex. Uh, I like it. <laughs> I enjoy to receive oral sex. I think it feels very nice. Um, when somebody performs oral sex on me, I'm often thinking, yes. <laughs> Good. Uh, uh, and I, I really, I think the reason why I like to receive uh, oral sex so much is because I, I love to orgasm and I love to be still. What an occasion. Uh, quite often the person who is performing oral sex on you will go, are you not enjoying it? Why are you not, like, what, are you not enjoying it? Like, b b do something. No. <laughs> this bit is for me. I'm just going to lie down, play dead, and then suddenly ejaculate. <laughs> Don't expect anything from me right now. Uh, I also love to perform oral sex. I've, I, I think that's quite good. I, I like to perform oral sex on uh, pe people, currently person, but broadly speaking, people. Um, I, I, I've read literature on how to be good at performing oral sex because that seems like a, a common courtesy. Uh, what you do if you want to be good at oral sex uh, is what you do is you just make a, your tongue fat. Uh -uh. Get a fat tongue. Make tongue as fat as you can. Uh -uh. And then swipe up from the neck. <laughs> Do that for a bit, and then every so often just go across as a treat. <laughs> That's not really what you do, is it? No. I made that up. You're genuinely supposed to spell something. Apparently. Aren't you? you really are. You're supposed to spell something out on it. You know? Pernicious. I think that's the best word. The best word you can spell on a is pernicious. Pernicious, 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 pernicious. Gulag, pernicious. That's usually an orgasm. Also, the good thing about going down on somebody who is your partner uh, or, 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 or your lover is that, you know, a regular partner is that you will learn when they're about to orgasm from their cues. They give you different sort of physical and maybe oral cues that let you know that they're about to orgasm, which is useful. So for me, I can tell when my partner's about to orgasm when she starts using the back of my arms like soap dispensers. <laughs> and when that happens, I can go, oh good, it's nearly done. Which isn't to say that I don't like it, I just am also glad when I've finished it. That's, I'm glad when it ends, but that doesn't mean that I don't enjoy the journey getting there. I don't want you to misunderstand, going, oh, I hate it, it's good, I like it, but also good, it's finished. You know, I wouldn't like football if there was never full time. <laughs> Make sense? Like my grandma often says she wishes she was dead, but that doesn't mean she wished she never lived. <laughs> anyway. Um, it's funny because most metaphors are reductive, but that one isn't. That's why that's funny. Um, so I'll be, uh, I'll, I'll be, I'll be uh, performing uh, oral sex on her in the same room as a baby monitor. And I'll be trying my best, uh, everything I've learned, fat tongue, swipe up, uh, all of that stuff. I can do it for a while. Mm, nearly done, nearly done. Uh, and then suddenly on the baby monitor you'll hear... <coughs> and she'll go... Carry on. <laughs> it's not carrying on, is it? We're at a different stage of the process now, aren't we? Is there anything more frustrating than your baby monitor ruining what's going on? It's like losing a saved game on PlayStation. <laughs> I've done this level before! 